Welcome to the sixth video in the series NVMet Unfolded, a complete guide to the NVMet software. In this video, we will be explaining facade and roof greening. In the previous videos, we covered soils and soil profiles, as well as simple vegetation. Facade and roof greening combines these two features to allow us to place vegetation on the building's facade or roof. To begin, we will start with the database manager open and our project selected. If we look at the greening tab, we can see it has the same layout as the other features we have covered previously. If we expand the system greening tab, we can see several default greening profiles that come standard with MVMAT. The two types of greening profiles that exist within MVMAT are those with an air gap and those without an air gap. This difference refers to if there is an air gap between the soil substrate and the wall or roof material or not. If we click on one of the default profiles, we can see a few basic parameters that describe the greening profile. Of course, we always have the database ID, name and color, which we are already familiar with. The name parameter simply allows for a more detailed name of the greening profile. The additional values can be ignored and remain unchanged. Obviously, the parameters seen here exist more as a reference for the user. In order to view the specific details and parameters of a greening profile, we need to double click on it. But first, we will make a user copy of one of the default greening profiles. This way, we can view and modify all of the parameters. If we double click on our user copy, a new window opens where we can edit all of the features of our greening profile. The left side of the window refers to the type of vegetation that will exist on our facade or roof. We can choose any type of vegetation we want from the list on the far left, including custom vegetation we may have created before. We then simply need to drag it into our greening area to be included in the greening profile. The parameter plant thickness seen above refers to the average thickness or height of the vegetation between the substrate and the atmosphere. The right side of the window refers to the substrate profile that our vegetation grows out of. Simply drag and drop any type of substrate into the profile. You can edit the thickness of each layer at the top of the window. The bottom of the window contains a variety of parameters that determine how the vegetation and substrate layers behave within the MVMAT model. The checkbox Greening has substrate determines if the greening profile we are using has a substrate layer present at all. Under Greening properties, we have two parameters which affect the behavior of the vegetation within the model area. Leaf Area Index, or LAI, describes the total one-sided area of leaf tissue per unit ground surface area. Leaf angle distribution refers to the average orientation of the leaves of the vegetation in regards to the surface it is covering. This is a value between 0 and 1, where a value of 0 would mean that the leaves are parallel to the surface, while a value of 1 would mean that the leaves are perpendicular to the surface the vegetation covers. If we look under substrate properties, we can see the parameters determining the behavior of the substrate layer within the model area. Emissivity of substrate refers to the coefficient of the outermost substrate layer to absorb and radiate energy in relation to its temperature. Be sure to pay attention to the labels shown on the sides of the substrate layer area. The outermost substrate layer would be the one bordering the plant layer. Albedo of substrate refers to the percentage of short-wave solar radiation that is reflected by the outermost substrate layer. Water coefficient of substrate for plant refers to the percentage of available water for the plant to use. Because MVMAT considers all facade and roof greenings to be artificially irrigated, this value is kept constant throughout the course of the simulation. And finally, air gap between substrate and wall simply refers to the size of the air gap between the wall or roof of the building and the beginning of the substrate layer. Once we have edited all of the parameters we wish to change, we can click OK and save our changes. If you would like to know more about the database manager, please view our Getting Started series here on YouTube. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one, where we will cover the last feature of the urban environment, pollution and sources.